You the one keep dragging your past around, dragging it around like some unwanted, dirty laundry. As you can see, the judge is already fed up with this defendant. She's already fed up with this defendant and she's letting him know there's nobody to blame but yourself. Let's see how this plays. Next, we're in Detroit, Michigan for a progress review hearing. Over 16 years earlier, 37-year-old Robert Osborne was convicted of assault and battery and brandishing a weapon. He was sentenced to a year of probation. But because Osborne allegedly failed to appear at hearings, his case has lingered in the court for years, despite a warrant being issued for his arrest. Today, Osborne appears remotely before Judge Elanise Bryant to review his case. He's represented by a public defender. So I'm gonna set the matter for you, see if probation can find his file, see if we can figure out what he has done and what he has not done. Mr. Osborne is gonna come back to the court March 6th. March 6th at 10 o'clock. It seems clear the defendant is not happy with the judge's decision to continue the case. Oh, that's crazy. I'm Ooh. sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong. What you say? Come on, speak your truth, Mr. Osborne. Judge Bryant doesn't appreciate Osborne's comment. He bladed his body to the court, turned his head from the court, ignored the court when I was talking to him. So I just changed my mind. He's tired of the case and so am I. We're gonna just adjourn the case till tomorrow. Mr. Osborne is gonna come in person and we're gonna close this case out. Anything further? Judge, is there any way that the court would, would... No, I'm sick of the case too. And so tomorrow, we're no longer gonna have to deal with the case. It's gonna be over tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Anything further? Um, not at this time. When the judge say tomorrow is gonna to be over and you're going for a probation violation, ooh. And then she wants you to come in in person. Huh. I don't know if I would have cared. Huh. I don't know. Let's see. The next day, Osborne returned to court, this time in person. And he has a new public defender, Janice Stevenson. Come on up, Mr. Osborne. So I promised Mr. Osborne that I was going to end his probation today. And today I am keeping my promise. The court is going to revoke the probation, sentence Mr. Osborne to 365 days in the Wayne County Jail on the brandishing and 93 days on the assault and battery. Sentences will run concurrently. It appears the jail sentence has gotten Osborne's attention and Judge Bryant isn't done with him yet. You are convicted. You're convicted of assault and battery and brandishing. You have been an absconder from justice. You did not show up. You the one dragging this out. You should have took care of this back in 2006, finished this probation and went on about your business. You the one keep dragging your past around, dragging it around like some unwanted, dirty laundry. Like I said, the judge is tired of this young man. He sent, she sends him to a violation of probation where he will have to go into the county jail and serve his time. Let's go back. Sentence Mr. Osborne to 365 days in the Wayne County Jail on the brandishing and 93 days on the assault and battery. Sentences will run concurrently. It appears the jail sentence has gotten Osborne's attention and Judge Bryant isn't done with him yet are convicted. You're convicted of assault and battery and brandishing. You have been an absconder from justice. You did not show up. 
you're the one dragging this out. You should have took care of this back in 2006, finished this probation and went on about your business. You the one keep dragging your past around, dragging it around like some unwanted, dirty laundry. You're doing that. As you saw for his, you know, disrespect. And also, since he, he didn't turn himself in, he just was, you know, evading the law and not going to court. The judge violated his probation, but she said the sentences will run concurrent. And that's better to come. For each sentence, they'll be running at the same time instead of you do one and then you wait till that's done and you do the other. Listen, I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope that <laughs> your takeaway from this is when it comes to the law, do what you're supposed to do. Um, try not to violate. Thank you for watching. If you have not done it already, like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.